Hey there, Union Church. Uh, this is Trevor here. Um, going to uh, talk a little bit about the Bible reading that we are doing today. I'm uh, going to do this a little different than what we've been doing. We usually have a couple, two, three people. This time it's just me. Um, Bobby is just putting in so much work. I told him last night, hey, let me handle it. So uh, I don't have the skills that he does, but um, I can definitely talk about this reading. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Please take time and read that. Um, actually, what I would love for everyone to do as you guys are watching this, post down in the comments what, when and where um, you do your Bible readings. Um, do you get up early in the mornings before everyone else? Do you stay up late? Do you do it during your lunch break? Do you, uh, me personally, when I'm doing uh, projects around the house, I love actually just listening to the Bible while I'm doing that. So uh, but anyways, um, today's reading is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. And um, verse 1 right away just kind of got me was <clears throat> talking about how um, the ministry that we have by the mercy of our Lord and Savior, or God the Father, or something like that. But anyways, um, it it just struck me that, you know, we, we as a church body, um, me as a music minister, um, uh, Rick as the lead pastor, Bobby as the youth pastor, and uh, uh, David Klein as the missions board and stuff, all these different ministries that we have, Sunday schools, um, VBSs, all these, all these ministries. The only reason we even have them is by the grace of God, um, by the, um, he is giving the okay to continue to do these ministries. And even though we're like, and it just got me thinking about right now with be, having to, do the ministries differently than what we typically are used to doing. Um, and that basically the disciples, they might have had a way of doing things in one city and they go to another city and it was completely different. And um, this whole chapter just basically was just talking about what what we do when we feel afflicted, when we feel the change, when we feel persecuted, when we just feel the the struggle of ministry. Um, and it just basically says, keep going, keep doing it, keep, keep pushing through because <clears throat> there at the very end, it says for the light, light affliction, I'm reading out of ESV, um, that we are experiencing right now is just preparing us for the great, tremendous, uncomparable glory that we will be able to, uh, experience in heaven. So I, I hope that that encourages us all today as um, we are anxiously awaiting the governor here in a couple of days, whether he's going to lift the order or not. But realize no matter what happens today, tomorrow, in two weeks, um, that God is preparing us for something so much greater and that we need to not focus on the things that... Uh, um, we can't control. We need to uh, focus on the things of God. We can't focus on stay-at-home orders. We can't focus on um, whether we can go to work today or not. Um, we can't focus on all these these struggles that we are struggling with right now. We need to just focus on the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that should be enough. And I know it's hard at times, but... Um, when, when we're able to do that, the peace that passes all understanding that we, we experience is so, so good. So hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, like I've said before, I miss you guys all. And uh, hopefully uh, here soon we can get to back a little bit normal. But until then, keep on doing the ministry of Christ. God bless and have a wonderful day.